Hello again, another day, another kit build. This is a small kit with a couple of LEDs on it. Let's have a look inside. We have the usual Chinese instructions and we have a round circuit board here. We'll come back to that in a second. We've got some resistors here. We've got some LEDs. couple of battery holders, a couple of transistors and capacitors. Let's have a look at the Chinese instructions. So there's a layout of the circuit. Um, and uh, so I have been playing about with the uh, um, camera to see if I can get rid of some of that flashing. Right, there we go, that's better. Right, so there's the circuit diagram and on the back we have the usual Chinese with the list of components. So, ignore that for the time being. Um, the reason why I chose this is uh, because of this switch here. This is a spring switch. Let's see if I can zoom in to show you. There we go. So this is a spring switch. If I tap that you'll probably see the spring move and what's going to happen is on the circuit board when we put this on get it the right way around when we put this on here like that we'll then be able to hold the middle spin the circuit board and as it spins the spring will move outwards slightly um, and when that happens it will make the circuit and the lights will, or the LEDs will actually light up. We've got a little spindle here and some have got a little screw to hold it in place and everything like that. So why don't we build it up um, and see how it goes. Right, okay, let's move everything to one side. Switch our soldering iron on, that can be warming up. Right, okay, so we've got uh, four diodes here. The transistors go that side, a couple of capacitors and the resistors. I think we'll do the resistors first. Let me just adjust the camera so you can see what's going on. Right, okay, so. We've got four resistors. Uh, the value of those is 1K. So let's get those in first, shall we? They're the easiest ones to, to sort out. Okay, that's got those in there, um, and then the other two are 1M, or 1. I'm going to get those in. Right, that's got those resistors done, all in a line there, that's good. Uh, let's get the two capacitors on next. Uh, these are both the same, um, and they're not marked uh, plus or ground, so we can just put them any way around. The 
little ceramic ones marked 104. Okay, that's got them done. Right, we're getting there. Uh, next, I think we'll do the transistors, which go on there. Uh, let's have a look. They're both marked 9013, so they're both the same. Um, just for the pattern on the circuit board, we've got a round and a flat. And the transistor that I've just dropped <coughs> also <coughs> is a round and a flat. So we just have to follow the pattern. Right, next thing we need to do is the diodes, the LEDs. We've got long leg and short leg, long leg being the plus, and on the circuit board we've got a little plus indicated just there. So let's put those in. Right, that's uh, got the LEDs done. Um, we've got a bit of a wonky one there. Let's just see if we can straighten that up a bit. Yeah, that's better. Right, so that's got the LEDs done. So let's have a closer look at this switch that we've got to do. Here it is, this is the switch and as you can see it's just got a, a spring on the inside ready to switch on and off as we spin it round. If you can see that alright. Right, okay, let's get that on the board. Um, now there's a little indicator and the legs are slightly off centre. So uh, as you can see, the legs are not in the middle. So we, obviously it shows you <coughs> which way around it goes. There we go. And uh, add a bit of salt onto that. Right, okay, that's uh, got that on all right. So next thing we need to do are the two big uh, battery holders. So there's a little mark on the board. Uh, with, right, so there's a little mark on the board just there and one just there. So that refers to this little tab here. So they need to go on. like that and a bit springy so they should uh, hold on okay um, and we just need to pop a bit of solder on it there we go 
just got them in place, a bit warm still, so I just let that cool down. Right, next thing I need to do is find a couple of CR2032 batteries. Right, back in a minute. Right, I have some batteries. Before I do that though, <coughs> I'm going to try and work out how to put this on. So, we've got this other little odd bit here, which I'm not entirely sure what that does, that little odd bit. Um, but I'm going to assume that that goes through there like so. And that screws onto there like that. Well, that's not screwing all the way in. Oh, uh, does that... Does that go all the way through there? Then that goes on there. So then it spins. I've got some arrows on the circuit board, look, so I guess it spins. Like that. Hmm, okay. <laughs> right, let's put a couple of batteries in and see what happens. Um, did it indicate which way they went round? I can't remember it saying which was positive and which was negative. Ah. Okay, let's try. Let's try one way around, then the other way around. Aha, I did see a light. Right, let me switch everything off. Did you see, see that? They do flash. I wonder if I tap the... No? Hmm. Right, back in a minute I have a thought. Right, this is going to be fun. I've attached it to my drill. So let me just move the camera slightly. Right, let's see if this works. <laughs> there we go. Yes, it works. As you can see, there's different colours there of the LEDs. And it only comes on if I do it slowly, look. There we go, that works. <laughs> okay, let's move it back again. So there you have it, one spinning LED um, circuit board. That actually works uh, with the spring switch on the side here couple of batteries, resistors, LEDs, and a couple of transistors and capacitors. Quite a simple set circuit. Um, 
but uh, yeah it works quite too well quite quite efficient i'm sure my grandson will really enjoy playing with that there we go i hope you like what i do if you like what i've done please give us a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll see you again soon thanks for watching